Howdy, hope everyone's super the comic here, and today I have a preposterous combo. So basically, the combo, well, you already know from the title and video, but uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, the combo is uh, Dead Hades on zero turn in defense mode on Barry. So basically, the com I actually found this to be pretty, pretty decent. Um, basically, it, um, with the decently aggressive shape, it is supposed to be a balance type, not an attack type. But with the decently aggressive shape of Dead Hades allows it to, I guess, clip onto the la um, opposing layer. Well, here's one. So get the. Uh, the decently aggressive shape, the semi, the semi defensive shape, and the attack shape is supposed to, I guess, clip onto the layer. And the fact that it's heavier, it would spinicalize more. So you're supposed to slow spin it against any opponent that's spinning faster. Any left spin opponent that's spinning faster than you, you're supposed to um slow spin it. Yeah, any left spin opponent that you're going up against, you're supposed to um slow spin it. Do not put this in same spin; it's going to get bodied. But yeah. The, um, it's supposed to clip onto the Beyblade and spinicalize more from it. And the fact that Dead Hades is very heavy, it has a lot of our weight distribution. That um, that a lot. The fact that it has a editor's note for those who didn't understand it. Uh, the centerpiece, which is I guess the cropped picture that I had in the meme. Uh, Dead Hades' centralized weight distribution actually bolsters the stability and stuff too. Um, I'll uh. Spoiler alert for the for later on in the video, Sprise and Requiem actually like bodies this thing because of the centralized weight distribution, um, I guess more factors that I'm not gonna explain here because I already explained it, but yeah. A lot of that is very heavy and has a lot of hour weight distribution. It should be able to um I guess retain a stamina fairly easily. Um mixed with um the zero the zero turn in defense mode. The turn in defense mode and com combined with the zero. The um the weight of zero and also the round shape of zero is supposed to um give it low recoil lower recoil, and uh lower the center of gravity. Unlike uh something something like uh where's where's it? It's in here. Yeah, something unlike like uh unlike zero wall, which the weight is actually more so focused um at the top rather than the bottom. So it does lower the center of gravity, but not as efficiently as turn in my, I guess, observation upon closer inspection. But yeah, this the um, immense weight of zero and the to defense mode, uh, it rounder the quote unquote rounder shape of turn in defense mode and right spin is supposed to lower the recoil and also retain spin in bearing. The fact that it has a weak spring also further ex uh, f further shows why you should not put this up in same spin. Uh, especially, uh, the fact that Dead Hades actually does not have good teeth whatsoever. The teeth are, like, very bad. Can we just... Dead Hades' teeth are not that good, actually. Let me try to, I guess, like, lower the brightness? No. So let me try to zoom in. Yeah, see, Dead Hades' teeth are very blunt. Very blunt come... Yeah, the Dizzy's teeth are very blunt compared to a layer, like, Bikikoken, whatever. Yeah, compared to a layer like Bikikoken, which teeth, in which, um, I mean, Bikikoken's an attack type, it's gonna have good teeth. Well, yeah, Bikikoken's teeth, which are pretty sharp. So, yeah, you don't use this insane spin, it's gonna get bodied. And bearing the fact that it has a weak spring, I mean, you shouldn't really put, like, a regular spring driver such as Eternal, or like any other driver, like Atomic or whatever, or Destroy. That's why Dead Hades is more so used on stuff, oh yeah, that's why Dead Hades is more so used on stuff like, uh, it's stock, it's stock driver, Zephyr Dash, and um, Destroy Dash, which came in the same random booster, which are two of the bit, um, um, more so major reasons why I got the set. But yeah, without further ado, let's, well, the bearing is just for, uh, life after, yeah, the, the bearing is just for life after death. Yeah, bearing is just for life after death and the, um, stamina, for, to, um, use Dead Hades for stamina as opposed to, um, attack, which it's mostly used for. So, let's, without further ado, the, 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 I can't talk, without further ado, let's get this, um, let's get the testing started.
I guess starting off, we're just going to be Dead Hades on Turn Bearing versus Salamander on uh, Zero Cross Atomic. I'm not going to count that one. Here that have um, how heavy the hits are. That's the sound of the speed equalization and I guess the intense collision between the um, I guess the two layers, which is where I guess further proving my um, point in Dead Hades' um, sides clipping onto the layer for better equalization potential. That's one L. That's 2-0. -oh. See, that's what I mean. The um, immense weight of Dead Hades and the fact that it has a lot of outrage distribution, um, that would, I guess, allow it to retain its spin. See, it just won from almost from almost nothing from almost equivalent to that of zero stamina it's still on so that's 3-0 on to the next combo all right so now i have a bearing versus bearing matchup uh did he do zero certain bearing versus legends no not legend surprise and requiem on zero wall bearing I think that was a tie. Yeah, looking back, that was a perfect tie. That was surprising, uh, zero to one. Don't, under don't underestimate the power of Spryzen or Sprizon. Splash, I know you're watching, or are you? I think that was Ryzen again, zero to two. At the last second, did he do spinical, um, spinical eyes, so that's a tie. So it's still zero to two. Another perfect tie, zero to two. I think that was Horizon. But I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna call it a tie. Don't at me. Oh. Oh. Another perfect tie. Ryzen, 0-3, next combo, Salamander's back, uh, Salamander on Stingy XN Plus, versus Hades, turn bearing. My guess is it's gonna end up in a slow motion burst. 
exactly uh, exactly how I predicted um, two to zero. I'm gonna try attack mode this time. Oh, there's a knockout. That's zero, um, two to one. Oh, it's two to two now. And there's a Salamander attack mode, XN plus being XN plus. And the camera's rolling. Uh, that's Hades, so the score is 3 to 2. All in all, uh, look by in my testing, this combo is does actually pretty well against Lespin. Yeah, this combo does pretty well against Lespin. However, uh, I guess most noticeably, its weakness was that it um was unable to be Spryzen on wall bearing. Um, my guess is because the um, my guess is that it weight doesn't always uh, weight doesn't always best rubber it does have more hour rate distribution but if but um the fact that it's been the fact that it's been equalization um hence the equalization the fact that it equals out weight um weight distribution would um allow with dead hades to retain the spin but the rubber would allow it to um well upon my inspection Spriggan requiem and Spryzen requiem the rubber um actually have differences Spryzen and requiem's rubber is more grippy and spring and requiem's rubber is just rubber it's uh it's not as soft yeah it's not as soft yeah the rubber on spring and requiem is not as soft as The rubber is not as soft as Evolution. Yes, Evolution still has rubber, but it's more so like rubberized plastic. It's it is rubber, but um, it's like very soft rubber. Yeah, no, very hard rubber. Very hard rubber. I'm stupid. Uh, yeah. Evolution. It's not as uh, it's not as hard as Evolution's rubber, but it's almost to that point. But um, Surprising Reckon's rubber is soft and grippy, which is why it's able to spin equalize a bit better than Hades. Hades is a, a does have yeah Hades does have attack power, or Hades does have attack power in the air and the hour rate distribution would allow it to um, clip onto the layer. However, rubber allows it to spinifize more, and the fact that it has Spryzen has central central Spryzen Requiem has centralized weight distribution, which actually helps with balance and stability because uh, it's at the metal godship is actually in the part bit where the driver is which gives it a bit more stability and also with the rubber it helps it spin it better so overall that's the only struggle it had but it actually like dominated this combo actually beat a lot of the western combos i threw at it so all in all mm, i might use this at tournaments i might not i don't know this is just for fun but yeah without further ado well actually no so that that's it for this video my phone is running out of storage bye <laughs>